What's up everybody? Today I've got a special guest, Aiden Garosby. Today is a unique lesson. We're going to be giving a bit of an insight into how to get better as a junior golfer. I practiced my butt off for eight hours a day as a junior golfer. For eight hours a day, I practiced all day long. And sometimes it was really difficult. Most of the days it was really difficult, but I really never knew how to practice to get to the next level. And so today's important topic is essentially how do I take this man over here and get him not only just better, right? Because we all want to get better, but get him to a level where he can play at the college level and even professional level. This is what you do to enhance your practice to a whole nother game. So today there are gonna be a couple things we're gonna go over. I'm gonna be helping him out, giving him a couple lessons, a couple tidbits of information here and there, but also how to practice at a more efficient level. Because again, like I said before, I practiced eight hours a day and it was super inefficient. There was a bunch of drills, but there was never any practicality behind it. Never took my game and was able to transfer it from the golf course to practice and from the pra practice to the golf course. So it's always gotta be this ebb and flow of practice back and forth and how do you make that even more efficient? By learning how to gamify it here on the practice range. We're gonna be going over repeatability, number one, how many times can you be consistent with certain shot, and then two, how to gamify it essentially on the practice range. How do we take a couple posts out here and make a fairway out of it? How do we take a bush nail, measure it off, take the conditions, the grass, the side slope, whatever it is, and how do I hit that golf shot closer to the hole? You gamify it on the practice range. So you're taking the golf course, bringing it here, so that you can take the practice range and bring it to the golf course next time. That is the most efficient way to practice. But what I wanna get into first, and how I figured this out, was that it wasn't about the one good shot that I hit. It was about how many times can I hit that again and again and again. How repeatable was I? And so, sure, I hit it five times in a row very well. A certain shot shape. Three times in a row well with the other shot shape. It was always about how do I hit it more consecutively again and again and again and again. And people think it's really boring. Oh, I'm so bored of practicing. Well, then you're not challenging yourself. You're legitimately not challenging yourself enough. If I say to myself, I'm gonna hit this 10 times in a row and I do it and I accomplish it, why not go 11? It's just like when you're in the gym and you go 10 reps, I'm like, oh, there's no more. And then you just take a second break and you got that one more in you. And you just, that's just that one more. If you've got that one more mentality, a 1% better mentality, there's no stopping you. Why are you gonna stop at 10? So my goal in repeatability is hitting one shot shape for you, which is your favorite shot, the stock cut. I wanna see how many times you can do it in a row the exact same way. I'm talking be as nitpicky as possible. If it doesn't curve the same amount, you start over. You have to get your mind into a place where it's going to happen every single time, no matter the situation. If you can do that, there's nothing that's gonna stop you when you're on the golf course. And that's the goal of the game of golf. It's not about how good your good shots are, it's about how good your bad shots are. And if you can be super precise and barely miss it with that bad shot, you're gonna be one level up from everyone else. So the goal here is I want to see if you can hit five shots just to start. Five shots in a row, the exact same, the way you envision. So what, what's your shot shape? So let's let's really be precise here. What's it going to do? What, what is it exactly going to do? Oh, uh, just start left of this blue, blue pole. Yeah, but how much? So let's let's make it easier. I want you to start it at the last guy in the range and end it up on the yellow flag. Okay. Can you do that? So I'll set the target for you. Last guy's that white guy in the shirt. Yeah, on the far, far right of the, of the range. All right. Yep. Exactly. So zero. Do you notice how that it immediately put pressure on you? If you don't give yourself specific targets to test yourself upon, you're really lying to yourself in practice. If you're super focused on the target at hand and saying, I'm gonna start it here and end it here, and you cannot do that, how are you gonna do it on the golf course? This is important. This is how you take the golf course and bring it to the practice range, especially as a junior. Like this is what I wish I knew as a kid. Okay, even though that was a miss hit, it still landed within the area that you wanted to land in. So that's okay. Let's see how many times. That's one. That's number one. And Drew, stay in that area. So it wasn't the shot shape. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get you back down to zero. And you gotta get good enough to do it on command every single time. So think inside your, your brain and just focus on the feel, what it is to make it happen. You can see you see the shot shape, you can see the the way it's gonna move, where you're starting, where you're lining it up, but then go into your mind and focus on how am I gonna move the hands and the body to create that shot every time, okay? That was perfect. Good shot. That's one. How many more can you do in a row? 
Okay, miss hit, but it's still within that parameter. I'll give you that. That's two. Being generous. Make sure it starts with those bags and comes back. Let's go. Let's go. That's three. I'll take that. Oh, I just started a little right. That's so close, but I can't give that to you. All right, back to zero. So you're going to do this until you can hit five. Chunk, and that's out. So really focus on you. Don't focus on like, oh, I got to hit the shot. You know what shot to hit. And you know what internally makes you hit that shot. Focus on what you feel to make that happen every time. Okay? Sick. One. That's how quick it should be. You see the ball fly, and you're like, oh, that's it. Let's go. Let's keep going. You know, it should be that quick. Here's the best part. How long does it take you to go play a golf hole, right, and hit the same shot from the fairway every time? Well, it'll take you probably four or five holes. It'll take you like over an hour to hit the same shot again, right? Because, yeah. you know, on the golf course, there's a couple different variations you got to hit. But I would say every single hole, it takes 15 minutes, at least 15 minutes for you to hit that same exact shot that you just did there. Whereas you can rep this out, but still have the same intent. I think that's where people miss it is when they're so focused on, I gotta go play the golf course, you know where to hit it. Don't hit it in the water. Hit it left of the flag if there's water right. Hit it to a little bit of a safer location. It's not too difficult when you're at a plus two, right? When you are that good as a junior, getting to that next level as a college elite level athlete, even to a professional, is how many times can you do it in a row? I know we can hit a shot. I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is how many times can you do it? That's the key. And this is what we're training here. He striped it. That's okay though. That's all right. It's still, it's what you kind of wanted to do. It was within the parameters we set. Even though you miss it a little bit, you recognize that and you're real with yourself, which is fantastic. That's two. Let's make it three. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't. Uh, Back to zero. I, w I wouldn't count that one. All right, so let's do, let's do three in a row, and then I'm gonna go on to the next one with you. Because this could legitimately take all day until you get good enough to where you can hit three, three in a row, five in a row, boom, right in 15 minute intervals. That's how I set my parameters of how good my game is. That, those, those, that's my benchmark. If I can hit five shots in a row, very, pretty much exact same way with every club, I'm good. If I can only hit two or three, that's when I'm like, ah, my game's at a C level. What's really important is that you're learning about yourself. You're learning how to deal with pressure. You're learning how to come up with better systems to feel it, to, to move the golf club in a way where it's more consistent. So you're learning more about yourself than anything in this drill. And I think that's the most important thing about golf. Yeah, it's great to hit golf balls, you hit it straight, you hit it perfect, whatever. How many can you actually do in a row? And the difficult part about it, I'm just gonna be straight up with y'all, is that everybody's golf swing is different. And I'm not gonna be one to say what's gonna work perfectly for him. Right? I can kind of give him a little piece of advice here, maybe a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But the most important piece for an aspiring junior golfer that's getting really good is that they're ingraining the right things. Well, what I know is right is the repeatability side of it, being able to hit the same shot over and over again. I can't tell you what works for you. I don't, I don't know everything that you've gone through, what you've worked on, what you've done to get here. What I do know is your consistency level. And I think that's super valuable and important with any junior golfer or anyone is that if you can hit a golf shot consistently three times in a row, that's powerful. You can use that on the golf course. Now clearly, if you're hitting a shot offline and you just can't do the same shot, then you've gotta go work on your technique. That's the first part. You gotta know how to hit the shot. Once you hit the shot, like you know how to hit a cut, then learn how to become consistent with it and find ways in your body to become consistent with that shot. That's the most important thing. Left. Huh. You like drawing it though, huh? Don't you? <laughs> All this is, by the way, is feedback. There's nothing more than this. It doesn't mean you're gonna play any worse or anything like that. This is only gonna show you what you can do. Okay, that's it. Just feedback. That's pretty. That's beautiful. 
That's one, I'll give you that. That was pretty straight. Almost might have drew just a little bit, but you know what? We'll call it one. Big cut, come on here. Let's see, nice little cut. Oh, come on, cut. Ah, back to zero. It is beautiful. Now, that's all right. What did you do to make that happen? I felt like I released my hips more. Okay, so let's do that. Let's continue to do that. Ooh. That feel more consistent? Yeah. Okay. That's two. Now the pressure's on. It's three. You don't want to go back down to zero. No! Come on, dude! Right here, let's go. On the third one, what happened? Be honest with yourself. Were you, was it you had a little pressure? A little bit of pressure, right? Now you were thinking, oh, I gotta hit a cut. Well, the most valuable piece of advice I could give you is when the pressure comes about, go internal. Go into your head and go, what do I need to feel to hit that same exact shot? Even though there's so much pressure, I'm nervous, my hands are shaking, everything. What do I need to do in my head to make that shot happen again and again and again? Ah, it's the, that feel. I'm gonna go off of that feel. Nice, that's it, that's the shot. What'd you do there? Okay, cool. So, for everybody that's looking for a piece of advice, if they wanna cut it, low left hands, really good thing to do for cuts. Oh, that's two. Guess what? That pressure's on. It's only number three. What if he's at nine shots in a row, right? How much pressure you have then? That's way more pressure than going playing golf and trying to figure out a slope or lie. But are you sure you're ready? Have you lined up? Are you are you intent and focused on hitting the shot? Yeah. You don't seem like it. You notice how I'm icing him? He shouldn't even be focused on me right now, but I'm icing him. It's a good little test. Stay. Stay. That landed on it. I think I'm gonna have to give that one to you. <laughs> Very nice. But how'd you feel there though? Lower left? My point in this whole thing is that if you're struggling to be consistent, you gotta find something that works for you immediately so that you can go hit those three shots in a row the same. So important. So this is kind of the same thing, um, just with a driver. We're gonna put a fairway out there, but he's gonna have a certain shot that he's gonna hit into it. And you gotta, again, be able to do it consistently, repeatedly. One, two, three, you know, in a row. And focus on that. So the fairway I'm gonna give you is between the yellow and blue sticks. All right. Does that make sense? Not the not this first blue one, the light blue one on the left. All right. And I want you to hit it right down that target line. Now you like getting a cut, right? So start at the little left, start at the left edge, pretty much the light blue stick, and cut it back into the middle. Let's do it three times, and focus on that one feel that gets you to repeat it. Okay. Most people are focused on, oh my gosh, I gotta go play and learn the course. That's great. Go play the red tees. It's fine. Learn to strategize out there. But if you wanna get better with your golf game, you've gotta be repeatable. You have to repeat motion again and again and again. It's the most important thing. And giving yourself targets, KPIs, benchmarks uh, to reach is a super critical thing to repeating motion and controlling uh, your golf game and getting yourself to uh, be better. Ah, little draw. What do you gotta focus on to make that not happen? Low hands, low left. Beautiful. That's one. That's a strike. Good stuff. That was right down the middle. Come on, let's do it right here, right now. Sometimes this could take two, three hours, guys. This is this is serious stuff. This isn't just like get good quick. That's two. I think. I think stay in. Stay in. Yup. Very nice. Here you go. That's two. Okay, three. No. Oh, uh, hold up. Hold up. Not ready to go yet. Uh, you're not ready to go? Are you ready to go? Yes. You sure? Yep. Well, I just got you out of your rhythm, so why are we listening to me? Come on, this is for three. Three in a row. You're laughing. You're not ready to go. You're laughing. <laughs> oh, he almost did it. Hi. Come on. Ah, that was close. That, by the way, is very important for anyone that wants to play at an elite level because there's going to be so much stuff going on. You're just going to have to deal with it. I've learned throughout my career how to deal with a lot of stuff, and it's a it's an important part in getting good. It's just blocking stuff out. Still all right? 
Yeah, that's it. So just to kind of recap the video, you got to find what works for you as a junior golfer or just a normal golfer as well. You have to find out what feel makes you repeatable with a certain shot shape. One, very important. Two, how repeatable can you be? Two simple things. Sick. Good stuff. All right. Make sure you ready for this. There's water right, water left, people talking to your backstroke. Cut. Cut. Oh no. What does that make you feel like? How does it make you feel? I want to get better. That's a sign of a champion golfer right there. I like hearing that. That's one. Give me two. Focus internally. You gotta focus internally. Can't uh, worry about anything else. When people are annoying you, when people are saying stuff, you gotta go into your own mind. Beautiful. Two. See how quickly you can... Next thing, let's go. Next ball. Cut. A little cocky, man. <laughs> oh, that barely was in. Nice job. Okay, so considering, you know, you play a lot of golf on the golf course as well, right? Yeah. You practice quite a bit. You're a great junior golfer. Incredible talent at 14. Normal practice really doesn't test you, right? You're just focused on, it's just it's boring, right? It's no fun. And that's what I experienced as a kid, although I was a bit of a weirdo and I liked torturing myself and going eight hours a day drilling it out. This is different than drills. This is focused on real-time competition. It's putting pressure on yourself. So that's a good lesson for everyone. If you ask those questions to yourself and you be honest with yourself, you're gonna become really good really quick. Way faster than playing golf on the golf course. That, my friends, is, is what I would do to help out an aspiring professional golfer. Little man, great stuff. Thank you.